wouldn't leave you at home. Last time I did that, the kids walked in on you looking at internet corn. <sighs> oh, God, what I wouldn't do to that. What? No, 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 it's not even mine. I just clicked on it. And come on, it's not like it's gay corn. It's gay corn. It was baby corn. Yeah. Awesome. Peanut, will you keep it down? I'm trying to look at lamps I'll never buy. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sweet. What are you doing? Well, I just found out about these things called apps, so that's kind of all I do now. This one's a cool bowling app I got. Oh, yeah, strike. Peter, your phone's streaming to the TV. You're clearly watching porn. Will you turn it off? I'm already caught, Lois. I'm gonna finish. Peter, I'm... I'm gonna finish! Just go over there. We're gonna be fine, Lois, you and me. Oh, my God, Peter, back it up! Oh, really, Lois? I thought I might drive forward. I thought that, that might be a fun thing to do. Stop fighting! Peter, relax. Chris is just going through a phase. He'll grow out of it. Just like you grew out of your walk like an Egyptian phase. Paul was a good man, a good friend. I'll, I'll always remember how supportive he was when, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. Did you like that game of mysterious intruder, Lois? I told you, I don't know who you are, and my name isn't Lois. Mine is, let's do it again. Look, now that this is settled, maybe you and Glenn can put this behind you. No way! How am I supposed to be friends with someone who's in love with my wife? Quagmire is dead to me and needs to be dealt with in an appropriate manner. Shame. 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 Shame, shame, shame! Shame on you! Shame, shame, shame! Shame on Q! This was serious, but it turned into something fun! Hello, everybody. This is Montecor. He's my lion. I have a lion now. Peter, what the hell? You know, I went to the zoo last week and asked if I could do it, and they told me to scram. Went to the zoo this morning with a shotgun, and now I have a lion. Does it bite? Of course it bites. It's a lion. Peter, get off the lion. We should spend some time together as a family. I don't think so, Lois. But the world is ending. We should be spending these final hours with the people we love most. Lois, a day ago I was stuck on jury duty. Today I have a golden ticket to do whatever the hell I want. I feel like an old guy who's reliving his youthful shenanigans. Lois? <gasps> oh, no. I'm alone and lost in the mall. I haven't been this scared since the silence of the lamb. Hey, um... Let's move in together. Say something! Where are you going? I'm going to Quagmire's to get some hand-me-downs. His dad mom sent over some boxes of men's clothes from back before the old chippity choppity. Ah, you shouldn't wear people's old dirty clothes. Well, I'm a dirty guy, Lois. Haven't you ever seen my naughty late-night party line commercials? Hey, are you lonely? Do you like to party with hot girls? What about horsing around with fat guys? Well, what are you waiting for? Give us a call. I'll be on the toilet wearing a t-shirt that's so long I have to hold it under my chin while I wipe. Heh, <laughs> must have been a woman pilot, eh? Peter, Meg's been in there a long time. Boy, you cannot wait to criticize her at every turn, can you? Go get her! Well, Lois, I am sorry for snapping at you earlier. You were right to criticize Meg. She could not even handle this simple task. She's in there right now, taking a nap underwater. For God's sake, save her! Oh, my God, that was so much fun. You know, boys, we just might make this our regular spot. Peter! Peter! Yeah, I'm sorry, Joe. I uh, just had one of my scrubs fantasy moments. Good morning, my American family. Peter, where did you get that suit? My God, you look like the Statue of Liberty's Lois. I never realized until now how much I've taken her for granted. I mean, she's my only daughter, and I feel like I've never treated her as well as I should have. Hey, Meg, you got something on your shirt. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Mr. and Mrs. Griffin, I'm afraid your coma's in a daughter. I mean, I mean, your daughter's in a coma. What? Oh my God! Did you did you hear what I said? Uh, brain freeze! <laughs> oh my God! Oh, that one is going in the Christmas letter. 
I can't believe this. My baby's pregnant. How could this happen? I don't know, but regardless of how it happened, it happened. You're pregnant, Meg, and there's only one thing to do. Meg, can you turn over? I gotta get that thing out of there. You're sitting on my shirt. I gotta put it on this hanger. Now, I'm going to Michael's house to force him to marry you. And have you ever struck your wife? Only in front of the kids to assert my status as dominant male of the pride. Are you a violent man? What are you, a wise guy? Because I know how to deal with wise guys. No further questions. You son of a bitch. If I had a gun on a boat, I'd shoot you. 